1917, and America is embroiled in a world at war. And feeding doughboys at point of embarkation are America's angels of mercy, women of the American Red Cross. Since granted its charter by Act of Congress, 5th of January, 1905, Red Cross has waged constant war against human suffering. In battle-torn France, Red Cross ambulances are familiar sights. Red Cross ambulance drivers, heroic figures to the wounded and worried warriors of democracy. And Red Cross workers are never far from the fighting front, are ever on hand to aid the battle-weary soldier. Ah, American cigarettes, almost as thrilling as letters from loved ones at home. At base hospitals in England, Red Cross nurses care for the inevitable casualties of war. Here, Red Cross women help heal the hearts that must beat in broken bodies, nurse the wounded back to normal thinking, normal life. They see deep suffering and must deeply suffer too, but still they laugh and play as if their hearts are light, for this is help for the wounded. At home, as well as at base hospitals and the fighting front, Red Cross workers of World War I aid our troops abroad. With time, as well as needle and thread, they give whatever help they can to those who are overseas, or, like this sailor, going over soon. And when our victorious troops return, Red Cross nurses are first to welcome them back home. But heroics are not forgotten. After peace is won, Brunswick, New Jersey becomes site of memorial to the heroism and sacrifice of the Red Cross ambulance driver in midst of war. They too were courageous at Chateau Thierry, Meuse Argonne, and the Marne. But peace does not bring an end to human misery. Peacetime disasters mean full mobilization for Red Cross men and women. Flood, earthquake, Fire and explosion take their toll of human lives as the Red Cross brings aid and comfort to the living. There's food, shelter for those who lost homes, and clothing against the cold of wintertime disasters. Then, as now, Red Cross aid has reached all those in need of help. And as times have changed, so have the equipment, organization, and look of the Red Cross. Disaster in modern times is met and fought with modern means and methods. Today, the Red Cross offers aid not only in times of trouble. Red Cross workers are bringing important know-how into the American home. For example, showing brother how to be mother to baby. And there's many a wounded GI of World War II who owes his life to the miracles of the American Red Cross blood bank. This was war against death. And this was the way the Red Cross helped the GI fight his battle against homesickness and the fear of fear. of the early 40s will probably never forget the arms and smiling faces of Red Cross girls who danced with them nights before secret sailings, and then often tearfully waved them off to war. Nor will those who came home to lie in hospitals, some to live forever in the wards, forget the Red Cross shows, the bright bedside performances, or the big gay gatherings on hospital lawns. For the Red Cross could not forget that war goes on, for some soldiers. Look, there's Joe E. Brown, called by the Red Cross to put on the faces of the wounded, smiles as big as his. Yes, in war, in peace, the Red Cross puts comfort and courage in the hearts. 